So what's going on there? Is that crystal magically creating lightning? It sure looks like magic to me, but it's actually physics. This amazing spark is generated by something called the piezoelectric effect. You've probably guessed that the piezoelectric effect has something to do with electricity, but what does piezo mean? Piezo actually comes from the Greek word meaning to squeeze or press. So a piezoelectric material is something that generates electricity when squeezed or pressed. The mechanical pressure of the hammer striking the crystal generates an electric spark that arcs through the air like a tiny bolt of lightning. But you can't get lightning out of just any old crystal. Only piezoelectric crystals have this power. Whether a crystal will have the piezoelectric effect comes down to the arrangement of its atoms inside its crystal lattice. Symmetry is key. In the sodium chloride model diagram, there is up-down symmetry in the distribution of charges. See, there are equal numbers of positive and negative ions in the top and bottom halves of this crystal subunit. But in the silicon dioxide model diagram, there is up-down asymmetry in the distribution of charges. The silicon dioxide has more negative charges in the top half of the crystal subunit and more positive charges in the bottom half. We can quantify this asymmetry using something called the dipole moment, which can be detected as an electrical signal. It can be pretty intricate and detailed to calculate dipole moment. Finding the dipole moment requires mathematical concepts like vector addition and physics concepts like electric fields. But at the end of the day, the existence of the piezoelectric effect comes down to symmetry. A mechanical deformation, in this case, a big squish, makes the unit cell even more asymmetric. In the case of quartz, it causes there to be a separation between the mostly negative charges on top and the mostly positive charges on the bottom. If we're just talking about a few atoms or a single unit cell, this charge difference isn't very big. But when you get thousands and millions of unit cells all lined up together, the effects can be huge. 